Well, colorful dresses made a comeback at the Screen Actors Guild Awards after a blackout at the Golden Globes. And while Time's Up pins were few and far between last night, as Hannah Dover reports, female empowerment still took center stage. Hollywood's brightest stars were out at the Screen Actors Guild Awards in Los Angeles, and it was the women who grabbed the spotlight. We are living in a watershed moment, and as we march forward with active momentum and open ears, Let's make sure that we're leading the charge with empathy and with diligence. That watershed moment, the Me Too and Time's Up movement, focused on sexual misconduct and equality in the workplace. The girl power continued on stage with all female presenters, including Marissa Tomei and Rosanna Arquette, who tearfully thanked the silence breakers. We can control our own destiny. And Rosanna, you are one of those voices, you're one of the silence breakers. And we all owe you a debt of gratitude. During the show, cameras mostly avoided actor James Franco, recently accused of misconduct, until his name was called in the best actor category. Aziz Ansari was a nominee, but skipped the ceremony after a woman came forward accusing the actor of inappropriate behavior. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman won Best Actress in a TV miniseries. She thanked the trailblazing women in Hollywood. And how wonderful it is that our careers today can go beyond 40 years old. Because <laughs> 20 years ago, we were pretty washed up by this stage in our lives. Frances McDormand was named Best Film Actress for her role in the dark comedy Three Billboards. Sam Rockwell. In his acceptance speech for Best Supporting Actor, winner Sam Rockwell voiced solidarity with women. You and I stand shoulder to shoulder with you and all the incredible women in this room for trying to make things better. It's long overdue. And Sterling K. Brown made history as the first black actor to win for Best Actor in a TV Drama. And Adoba, CBS News. The SAG Awards are indicators of likely Oscar winners. Oscar nominations will be announced tomorrow.